um, yeah, coming to discipleship and small groups, uh, we we looked at some of the uh, basics, the introduction in last class. Um, I think the last topic that we looked at was um, uh, about uh, you know having a, a holistic cell group. Holistic meaning a cell group that's um, inward looking, upward looking, outward forward looking right and uh, to have that perspective and to, and to do everything possible to to maintain that right to maintain that uh, that wholesomeness um don't want to use the word balance because uh, you know then it might be like you know middle of the road kind of thing but then to be wholesome you know there might be seasons when uh, well the group is inward looking and working on that aspect and there could be times when when you are, you know, the upward looking, and and it's a and it's a continuous thing which happens, right? So uh, to develop the cell group in that manner, so uh, it can be effective, right? And not uh, and not become uh, kind of leaning towards one thing only, right? And the cell group develops in all all aspects. So we looked at that. We I think we ended uh, with that. Okay, so let's look at. Uh, let me just share the notes, and then we'll we'll look at. Uh, we'll continue on. So what we'll um, look at today is, you know, how to lead a cell group meeting. You know, we've been talking about the cell group model, the vision uh, of that cell group of the cell group ministry, and uh, also the focus of it, which is discipleship, right? So. It, uh, but it it is not discipleship alone. We can use it. You know, this the cell group can also actually function uh, as an evangelistic team and so on. But primarily, which means the main thing is discipleship. We also saw you know how it was different, like how it was different from a uh, what do you what do you call as a care cell or a you know or a cottage prayer meeting or a, a house prayer meeting. Right? Or, or in a other, you know, a Bible study. We saw that that it was different. Okay, um, and we and we looked at some of those differences, right? Where in a cell group, the leader is not actually preaching a message. He might, he or she might summarize, might give a, a, a synopsis, just to remind the, all the cell group members about. You know what happened on a Sunday meeting. What happened in church? What was uh, you know the sermon that we heard? Just to remind cell group. But but we see that the cell group leader is more of a facilitator to enable the cell group members to share you know, to to share their uh, uh, maybe their questions, ask doubts, uh, to share about their learning. How do they apply uh, the message that they heard on Sunday? And this particular truth itself, how you know, uh, deeply is ingrained in it, in in them, all those things, right? So they are looking into the Word of God. So it it is a Bible study. We are studying the Word, uh, but it's going much deeper in the sense that there are questions being asked and answers being provided. It's going much deeper in the sense there is a discussion. Okay, rather than one person just giving a message and the meeting getting over, right? Okay, so how to lead a cell group meeting how to lead a great cell group meeting okay let's look at that um, the first one is of course a favorable environment like you it's up to us to create a favorable favorable and when we when we say favorable environment it talks about the physical environment of course meaning uh, let the place be comfortable let the place be clean is there anything that would uh, you know that would distract anything that would hinder uh, the people from not being part of it will 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 is there anything like that you know um, is there a place to sit etc you know is the place clean is it uh, so just a simple thing right um, uh, so a favorable environment and also you know is it uh, noisy is there anything distracting because I I remember uh, you know once having a life group like this is years back so we used to have uh, our life group in you know different 
different live group members uh, oh sorry uh, this is even before we started live group okay so um, we used to just meet as friends and uh, and have some bible studies and we used to meet in different places and i remember this one particular place where we met and uh, the host of course um, you know someone else was leading we had someone who was leading the bible study but um, the one who actually uh, gave that space you know the host he uh, his intentions were good you know he just wanted to be you know wanted to be a good host make sure uh, you know everybody's uh, uh, everybody's uh, you know gets their snacks and so on but then there were too many interruptions like he, he ordered you know snacks from uh, uh, some, from someone from one of the shops nearby so here we are you know, having a bible study and um, and in 10 minutes into the bible study somebody comes with you know plates of chart you know <laughs> and uh, you know of course everybody's uh, everybody's glad that the charts are the charts are there and they wanted to have some of those bail puris but but the thing is it was an interruption then and then and then we had that okay fine because we had to stop pause study okay we continue and then uh, maybe after another 20 minutes something else you know so he he just wanted to make sure that you know we were all uh, well fed but then it wasn't it was a lot of in interruptions and it didn't really help so you know favorable environment would talk about that you know what goes on uh, the physical place itself etc right some simple things praise and worship and spiritual atmosphere so have a time of worship, have a time of, um, uh, you know, worship right at the start. Maybe we have a time of singing. Um, you know, it doesn't always have to be singing. We understand that. But singing definitely, you know, helps us um, to, you know, get into, uh, 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 to, to be able to praise God, to be able to worship Him. Um, so, you know, maybe people maybe there's someone who can lead in singing maybe there are you know sometimes we get the you know uh, thing that um people saying that there's no one there's no musician there's no one who can lead us so in such cases you know we can just maybe play the music on a you know play an mp3 play it on a an audio system and and worship together right worship along uh, worship sing along and worship the lord maybe someone can you know you after after a song or two can pause and then give time for people to uh, just open up and, and praise god uh, out loud and maybe people can take turns to praise god out loud so all this can be done but um, you know to have a time of praise and worship uh, uh, whether there are people to lead in worship or not you know we can we can do that right um christ centeredness is the life of the cell so you know what happens is if if i'm a leader leading a cell group keep the focus on the word keep the focus on jesus right uh well there could be times when we are sharing testimonies maybe life testimonies and so on and um, but keep the focus on jesus you know even in the testimony let it not be focused on the self you know how good we were and how you know uh, how uh, you know in faith we stood and how we overcame well that all that is true but um, turn the attention back on christ you know how the grace of god enabled how the cross of christ enabled for example right um the third thing for the fourth thing sorry to to um to ensure that happens is prayer okay um so you have worship then the focus is on the word you make sure that there's a physically and otherwise the, the environment is pleasant and comfortable and conducive then have prayer you know, prayer maybe for the leadership of the church prayer for the families prayer for you know all the members of the cell group and uh, yes people might have some specific needs uh, they might be going through some specific challenges. So give time for that, right? Give time for that. And uh, one good thing to do would be uh, to regularly, you know, keep praying for various things and uh, maybe keep a notebook, maybe keep a file where you are entering these prayer requests. And it'll be good to look into it and see, uh, you know, how God has uh, wonderfully answered these 
these prayer requests as well right and it can be a time of thanksgiving uh, and gratitude to god as these prayer requests get answered so um so yeah so you could do that pray for oikos contact when you say oikos it means a, a household right um uh, a point of contact so uh for especially for um you know those families and those family members or maybe those um people whom we know who have, who have not yet received christ we can pray for you know that contact that person uh whom uh, god has prepared right who will open the door for others right who will, who will really uh, uh in addition to that person being open to the gospel will also facilitate others in the household right uh, will be like a uh, influencer of the household to share the gospel so pray for that contact right well it's good to uh, for the life group leader to not give up the leadership right it's good in the sense it's important but also to be able to delegate certain responsibilities right maybe somebody can facilitate you know one particular cell group meeting someone else can facilitate okay so uh, you you see that you notice as a life as a cell group leader you notice that okay there are some people who who have the potential to become leaders who have the heart to become you know to to minister in these in this this manner who have a heart for ministry um so uh the best way to develop them is to give them opportunities to facilitate you know a life group a cell group meeting uh, and say okay this particular day when we meet you know you lead the meeting right so you're there as a leader but then you've given the delegating uh, the responsibility to them and so you can discuss about how you know they they've already been watching they've already been seeing how you lead the meeting and uh, of course you can discuss uh, after the meeting also you know one on one and say okay how it helped and what was the learning and so on so delegation so um so uh, you delegate based on their heart for for the lord or heart and uh, for the lord and the zeal for the lord and also their heart for ministry so uh, don't do anything to feed the ego right like suppose somebody says you know you know i'm uh, you know i i i have been traveling i've been doing this i'm i you know i do that and therefore you know i you need to give me an opportunity to share um you don't have to do that right what is the motivation why do they want to serve why do they want to you know grow up to be a leader is it for personal uh, personal gain or you know is it for personal fame uh, what is it do they want to look good in front of the group right see all these are wrong motivations so do not feed that or do not give in to that but uh, you know if the motivation is right then you give them an opportunity right uh, as as uh, leaders okay sensitivity to visitors and unbelievers now now that's another thing no suppose it might happen that okay on a particular cell group meeting somebody brings a friend along okay they just couldn't uh, you know they just brought them along they were also there and they brought them along and and maybe you have visitors in the house uh, who are not believers okay so be sensitive uh, to their presence okay and what they believe in right so don't condemn other religions practices etc um so you know don't don't make fun of it don't condemn it uh, but focus on the lord focus on proclaiming jesus okay okay then uh, you can be creative in the cell format presentation and uh, facilitation of the word so so it's it's you know as we've been saying that it's not one person preaching it's not a sermon okay it's it's a discussion so it can be creative you know you can ask people to uh, okay maybe write down certain things even the worship itself can be creative the um, the discussion can be creative you can ask them to write certain things you can ask them to act out certain things um you can make it interesting right be creative you can ask people to draw uh, and and show and uh, you know so, so it depends on what the 
the sermon was about and what the you know the the what we are going to be discussing um uh, because uh, i i don't know if i remember sharing with this group but um you know i remember long time ago when we were talking about i think this was when we were in a youth camp uh many years ago um so this person the speaker who came uh he was actually talking about uh uh he was the topic was not who we are in christ but really uh, i mean he didn't phrase it that way um this was many years back and then but he just wanted to this was the activity right uh, and the activity the page 1 of the activity we had to draw something so we had to draw what we felt we were like not write down but draw okay. so plain piece of paper you giving a pencil pen Uh, you need to draw what you felt like felt like what you what you were okay so so many people uh, you know drew we start started drawing and the on the other side we had to draw what you would be along with jesus right it's typically a who we are in christ kind of a message and activity but on the other side you know with christ with jesus did you feel the same way you had to write out i mean we have to draw out that okay so many people uh, wrote you know it was it was a, uh, it was you know kind of good i mean it was very nice to see interesting to see the kind of creativity with which people you know so like one person drew a candle okay on one side and uh, the candle was not lit there was no flame okay then on the other side with christ okay because i know jesus because jesus is with me uh the person actually drew a flame on the candle saying okay now i'm a candle uh, with the flame i have meaning purpose i'm giving light uh i'm shining light dispelling darkness you know kind of thing so um so they uh, these kind of things so a cell group meeting may not be uh or should not be a one sided thing it has to be something where everybody participates not everybody will be uh you know very expressive with their words uh, like some people might be shy some some people may be introverted so it'll it will take some time right it'll take some time for people to begin to open up and begin to share but if as a leader we prepare and we ask god you know for creative ideas lord how can i you know how can i facilitate this how can i bring home this truth and you know uh, ask people to do this you know, maybe something they can paint something they can draw uh, something they can act out you know not all the time right maybe some one aspect of that discussion can be there so this will help okay so creative cell group formats or uh, presentations and uh, maybe you know we're talking about a group which is 12 or 15 adults uh, or, i mean uh, people i'm not saying adults, just not in number we're also talking about maybe six couples right so it it is a kind of a s- small group it is not a big group it is not a big uh, you know gathering so you can even think of okay you know on a particular month well the cell group we are going to be meeting somewhere else we are going to be meeting in a park we're going to be meeting you know going elsewhere and meeting and uh, and we can think of okay maybe that particular day's discussion is intercession and you can say okay we are going to be meeting you know in this place or on this mountain top and we're going to be praying for our you know for our city as we look at all the houses that are there you know from the top of the mountain we're going to be praying over the city so you know so make it creative um see how best you can do it right uh, okay allow people to discuss and ask questions you know that's the that's the that's the key we are developing disciples right we are helping people uh, and in, and in the process we ourselves are being developed we ourselves are being built up so we are taking people from being believers to becoming disciples to becoming ministers to becoming leaders right um so we are helping people go through all that 
And so um, that will happen only when people discuss or if they have doubts, if they have questions, if they have the freedom to ask and get answers, if they have freedom to ask questions and everybody looks into the word or people who already know the answers, you know, they answer based on the word saying this is what it is. So, so then there is learning, then there is uh, the questions are being answered. So there is growth, right? Okay, so after the meeting formally ends, meet and follow up with visitors, new cell members, etc. Right? Um, now there also could be, you know, there could be conflicts because, uh, you know, I mean, you know, it, it involves people, right? So there could be people not getting along with other other kind of people. Right in the cell group itself, um, maybe uh, maybe there could be some differences of opinion, and uh, because of which they're not able to get along. There could be you know conflicts for various reasons, but uh, uh, the thing is to resolve them, right? To to be able to solve those conflicts, to be able to solve those problems, and uh, and we need to do that. So you know, in another section, we're going to look in more into the details of that. Um, so, but the thing is to have that mindset, okay, if there is a problem, if there is a, you know, a real relational thing, if there is a conflict, well, we are going to address it, we're going to solve it, okay, uh, and not let it go, right, okay. Okay, so what do we do with, one of the questions is, okay, if it's a family group, right, you have children, now what do we do with children, okay, um, so children can be part of the group they can have you know it depends on the age of the children right if the children are you know kind of uh, if they are 10 11 12 they can be that by themselves they can play by themselves or they can have an activity maybe somebody from the cell group can you know take responsibility and say okay uh, this particular meeting i will take care of the kids i will teach the children i will i will you know make sure that they have an activity right so somebody who is gifted uh, to be with children to minister to children can do that or well the children can watch something and uh, at the same time when the adults are meeting and and having their meeting the children can also learn something watch something maybe read something maybe one of the older kids can you know or older children can read something uh, you know, maybe a Bible story, maybe uh, handle an activity, maybe. Um, so there is also, they are also involved, right? Uh, so rather than looking at children as some, you know, someone who's inconvenient for the meeting, uh, we can actually involve that, you know. Uh, many times in our home, in our house, uh, the kids used to, used to, uh, you know, they used to watch a video. Uh, they used to watch some songs, um, and uh, of course, there will be some issues. You know, so there will be some problems. You just put, uh, you know, they, in between, somebody will start crying because somebody started fighting with the other. So all that will be there. You know, that's the reality um, when you're meeting as families. But um, but it's all part of that, right? So so uh, so don't look at them as inconveniences but involve the children plan something for them so it's going to take some effort to to plan something for them right so that they are occupied during this time and uh, and it's good if it's uh, if it's something similar to what the, the you know the the adults are doing okay maybe the adults are looking at uh, you know uh, 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 the sermon maybe if someone can do it at the for the level of the children the same message maybe something else how can that apply for children you know if someone can do that uh, then that will be that will be wonderful right and people can take turns to do that okay here are some guidelines family cell groups you know maybe they needs equipping okay uh, i don't know how to handle kids uh, i don't know how to maybe if people are saying i don't know how to handle them i don't know how to you know get equipped maybe read something watch some videos find out um, contact the children's pastor uh, find out and and do the same thing right so uh, well one one 
uh, thing to keep in mind is that uh, when we start with worship, when we start with, or maybe end with prayer, children can be part of it. Right? They can also be part of the worship time. They can maybe sing along. They can maybe lead in some of the songs uh, and also prayer time. Right? So they can. So he, what what is happening is that they are learning. Right? They are learning that okay, this is what happens in a cell group meeting. This is um, these are some things that happen, and uh, and so you know they are learning as well. Okay. Um, yeah, I think this is what we saw. This is what we uh, read just now. Okay. So when it comes to uh, the cell group leader. Okay, we'll, we'll look at this section and then we'll probably take questions. Okay, so uh, according to this model you know, that we see, only the committed members of the church um, can be trained or are developed to become leaders or appointed as leaders. Okay, so it's not like somebody who is visiting, somebody who's part of another church. Right? Like they might have leadership qualities, you know, they might be running their own ministry and uh, they might be, like they might be doing other things. They might be, uh, you know, wonderful, they might be a wonderful minister of God. But a cell group leader is one who is committed to the church, is part of the church, is committed to the church, is part of the vision of the church. Okay, so... Why is that? Right. Because the, one is the they are part of the vision of the church. They align to the vision of the church. They understand why do we have this? Right. Why do we have cell group meeting, meetings at all? Right. The second thing is that they have oversight, spiritual oversight. You know, they are accountable. Well, the leadership, or maybe there is a cell pastor, maybe there is a coordinator who is going to ask them some questions. You know, hey, did we meet today? Did we meet this week? Um, the cell group hasn't met in a while. You know, any particular reason? And uh, they're going to be asking some questions. So you're accountable. You know, if something wrong is happening in the cell group, um, if the cell, you know, if the cell group, cell group leader is like totally going off on a tangent, then you know, there is uh, accountability. So the leader, uh, the leadership of the church, the pastor maybe is going to ask some questions. You, you know, this is what we, you know, this is the direction that we want to go. And, uh, you know, maybe we need to make some course correction, right? You know, what you're doing in this hill group uh, needs to change a bit. Right? Why don't you try this? Right? So uh, they will bring in that correction. So that will be, that'll be part of it. So therefore, the cell group leader needs to be part of the church, very important, needs to be uh, a member of the church. Right? When we say a member, you know, becomes a formal member, which means they've taken that step to be committed to the church. Uh, so this is a very important thing. This might seem like a very, you know, small thing, or it might seem like, you know, why are you, you know, getting into all these formalities? But, but the thing is, you know, it's it works both ways. When somebody is committed, when somebody is a member, uh, when somebody is known to the leadership, then you you can able to you're able to trust that person, right? You're able to trust that person, train that person, and entrust this responsibility of leading a life group, the cell group, to the person, right? Um, so unless somebody is committed, unless somebody is a member, you cannot do that. Right? You cannot entrust that responsibility. So you make sure that the person is a committed member as part of the church comes to church you know takes part in the activities of the church in the life and you know life of the church and uh, and so is a committed member right so that's one thing the second thing is that we see that the members or the cell group cell group leaders should also be equipped right spiritually so one needs to ensure that Okay, so they need to have their fundamentals, the basic things in place, basic doctrines in place. So uh, as a church, APC has the biblical foundations course, which talks about um, you know, the nature of God, it talks about salvation and sin and holiness and faith and who we are in Christ and worship 
and the sacraments of the church and so on. So these basic things, one has to have a knowledge and understanding of it in order to be able to, like personally to be strong in this, to have an understanding and also to be able to teach others, lead others, right? Then the third thing we all, always make sure is that they are also uh, trained to be self leaders, self group leaders, right? And so they go through the training, you know, and training is something, the material that we are going through is what they will go through also. Um, they will go through this and then get an understanding of, okay, this is what a cell group is. This is, these are the do's and don'ts. Uh, this is the expectation of the church leadership from the cell leader. Uh, this is what is expected. These are some things that are not expected. And so, so, the cell, so the cell group leader is clear in his or her mind. Okay, this is what we can do. This is the big picture. This is why we are doing cell group. So it would actually set the person for success, right? The, the whole training would actually help, the, uh, you know, set the person to do well as a leader, uh, to to be equipped as a leader, to face some of the problems that might come up um, and to have a realistic expectation, you know, like um, the person should not think, oh, you know, if I, what is, what this happened, you know, uh, why did it happen? How, you know, is it supposed to, all those things are, you know, put to rest in the sense, yes, as a cell group leader, you can expect this. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, So to say, okay, as a cell group leader, you know, you can expect this. This is the reality. If there are children, this is what will happen. So you'll be prepared. Um, there are different kinds of people. And so, you know, this is what the, uh, maybe some might, uh, you know, have, behave in a certain way and do these things. You'll be, you'll be, you know, ready for that. So if there are problems, you know, this is how you face it. So the training would, would cover that um, so that they are equipped. Okay, let's look at some of the responsibilities of the cell leaders. Okay, um, some of the responsibilities. One is preparing for the cell group meeting. So, uh, studying the word and preparing for discussions. Now, the preparation is, uh, you know, uh, one, uh, the preparation, the key basic thing is, of course, uh, quiet time with the Lord. There's nothing that can replace that. So as a, as a leader, as a cell group leader, I need to have my, you know, personal disciplines of, you know, prayer and worship and word and my, my personal time with God in place. Okay. And uh, in then, you know, all these other things would, would, would apply. Okay. So what are these other things? One, one is to prepare for the cell meetings. You know, you know who's going to be coming. Um, you know what is the content, right? So study that. Um, be sure of that. Um, and also think of ways to have the discussion. You know, what are some questions that you can ask? Well, the cell lesson itself has some discussion questions. I, I think I, I shared it with you know the, the sermon outline comes uh, which is on the website church website would come with a uh, cell cell lesson you know life group lesson as it's called so it has it gives a it, it's a guideline okay this is what you can do in a in a meeting um, so some some uh, scriptures to read uh, some questions to discuss. Uh, and some guidelines, what to do after that. So it is there already. So, you know, you go through it, you prepare that and anything additional that you want to do, uh, you know, during that time of discussion, how do you want to facilitate it? Think about that, plan that, pray about it and, uh, you know, pre be prepared with it. Okay. Guiding the discussions to the cell, through the cell meeting. Now, that is another thing. Now, this is another thing that uh, the person needs to be familiar with and, uh, uh, you know, sometimes maybe uh, with practice, right? It becomes it becomes easier, right? So maybe people are sharing. No, may, or may, you know, you could have a situation where nobody wants to speak anything, nobody wants to say anything. It's all quiet, okay? So to be able to ask pointed questions, right? What do you think? You know, this is what we looked at uh, this Sunday. You know. The 
ways by which we can receive from God. That God has already done it. The Lord has already done it on the cross. And it is his will and desire that we receive it, walk in it. So, and these are ways by which we can do it. So, you know, have you tried it out? You know, uh, what are some of the ways by which uh, any testimony is about? So you ask these pointed specific questions which enable people to open up and share. Okay. You know, uh, going beyond, okay, does any, anyone have anything to share? You know, that's a very open um, uh, kind of a open, maybe people might want to share people may not you know that they they don't feel like talking they're just all quiet and nobody's saying anything so it's up to us as cell group leaders to take that first step and maybe you know the cell group leader himself or herself can share and then from there as people are listening maybe they feel interested to share so another one shares or maybe they just need a little bit of encouragement a little bit of drawing out right um, and then asking them to share so that can be done okay to guide the discussion so um, so that during the discussions also it is possible that the discussion might go go off in a different direction altogether you know this is the topic and then people are begin slowly begin to talk about you know their personal things and you know uh, hey, you know what this is this is what happened so to bring back the discussion to bring back the focus onto the topic of discussion is the responsibility of the cell group leader. Okay, so that is also guiding the discussion, facilitating the discussion, and, and also to move forward to the next one, the next point, or the next thing uh, uh, which is which is being planned is the responsible. So the responsibility of the cell group leader. So the cell group leader takes that initiatives to step in and say, okay. I think we've discussed, um, you know, uh, 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 we've discussed uh, sufficiently. We've had a good discussion on this. Now, let's look at this other thing. Okay. Now, no one else will do it. The cell group leader has to do it. The cell group leader has to guide the discussion. Okay. Um, set a godly example. Influence people through life contact. Disciple cell members. So set. Uh, Godly example through your life, through your speech, through your actions, through your lifestyle. Let it speak to the people. Right, uh, everything else about you. Let it speak to the people. Uh, lead by example. Okay. Pray for all cell members. Uh, you know, you know them, and slowly they begin to. You begin to uh, hear about the challenges they might be facing, and also some some things pointedly, specifically that you want to, you know, you want to see in their lives. Maybe some breakthrough. Pray for cell members. Follow up with individuals during the week. So this is outside of the cell meeting. You see that, okay, uh, you have the cell meeting and then you are, you are, you know, as a cell group leader, the cell group leader is doing certain things. Now, outside of the cell meeting, you know, cell, cell group meeting is over. Now, uh, apart from that, during the week when the cell group is not meeting, what can the cell group leader do? Right? Of course, to pray for the people. And also, maybe to follow up, maybe to send an email, maybe to send them an SMS, uh, a WhatsApp text to find out how they are doing. Maybe they need some encouragement, right? Maybe they need some prayer support, maybe um, whatever, right? They, they need some counsel. So to be able to do that during the week, or maybe just to catch up, you know, what's happening uh, during the week. You said this was, uh, this was bothering you, you know, is everything okay? Just to give a, call uh, during the week okay lead cell members in ministry and outreach to help them to share the gospel maybe they need some equipping um, lead them in outreach lead them in ministry uh, maybe somebody would want to do some kind of a you know they have a, a ministry of compassion and uh, they feel that okay the poor and the needy they need to be helped and just understand that okay in what way would they want to do ministry? What has God placed in their heart, right? What has God graced them with? And recognize that and, and help them with that. You know, help them recognize it, help them discover it. Hey, did you notice that? You know, every time you see the, you know, the poor people, you're, I, I see that you're drawn to them and you want to do something. Why don't you, why don't you think about doing something on those lines? 
why don't you ask God to do something to open up some doors so that um, you know you can begin to you know do something with your resources with your time and and maybe help them you know, why don't you do that so you know helping people in the life group in the cell group to get started in serving others in outreach right okay it's encouraging cell members to evangelize uh, again uh, you know this uh, intentionally to share the gospel to have conversations with others about christ maybe their testimony how they got saved and so on um, developing cell group members into leaders now this is also something now what would help is to um, well maybe not all are interested maybe not all are you know uh, have that same kind of gifting to to be cell group leaders but those who are you know whom you identify and whom you see that have the potential you know, they have the heart they have the maybe the shepherd's heart you know they want to care for people they want they are um, well they are interested in the spiritual uh, life of the other people of the people you know they are interested they they care for the, the character the testimony of uh, other people and uh, so they they are you know burdened about that then they want to do something about that so these are some things to notice and say okay this person really has a heart for developing people is an encourager is building up people so you know why don't we develop them as leaders giving them opportunities you know uh, equipping them maybe and so that eventually they can start their own cell group okay uh, and more people can be part of that you know so here we had 12 people now if they start now you have 24 people who are actually being discipled you have 12 here and 12 there right so uh, so there is growth there is multiplication in developing disciples right so uh, it's why it's important to develop cell group members into leaders okay uh, ministering to the needs of cell members council support imparting the vision of the church you know always you know to point so this is another thing you know we uh, christ is at the center no compromise and because we are part of or and committed to the local church and the life group ministry is also or the cell group ministry is also part of that church that we are committed to uh, from time to time to to draw people to the vision of the church right hey this is why we are doing this to remind people about the vision of the church uh, is also the responsibility of the cell group uh, leader right uh, be accountable to the cell pastor and to the church maybe the church might say okay you why don't you attend this meeting why don't you uh, you know once the cell groups are meetings are conducted maybe uh, keep us informed send a small report you know these are some maybe some administrative responsibilities uh, or some some other kind of responsibilities right um, will be accountable to that okay so be aware of it be accountable uh, to those responsibilities to, to to the leadership as well okay so that's about the uh, responsibility of the cell group leader okay now now this might be different for you know different churches uh, this might be different for different ministries but uh, we're just putting together you know what uh, what would generally apply in most cases and also specifically for uh, you know apc as a church and uh, and this model of cell group ministry which is followed by uh, apc right okay so 950 we'll take a break we'll come back in 10 minutes okay thank you